Choosing a college is a major decision. Joining us to talk about her decision to come to WKU is senior broadcast journalism major Hattie Baji. Hattie, thanks for being here. Thank you. You are all the way from West Africa. Yes. Tell me about the journey that led you to WKU's campus. Well, I come from a third world country, pretty much known as a country inside of a country, Benjul, the Gambia. So it's right inside of Senegal in West Africa. So I grew up there most of my life and my parents realized uh, later into my life and my siblings that they wanted us to have a better education. So uh, starting off my journey in the U.S. was starting off high school. So coming from all the way there to Dallas, Texas, uh, big move, but that pretty much started my whole educational career in the States. And it was a tough kind of transition before that, just because, believe it or not, I did have a very strong accent when I first came here and learning how to get used to a new culture. So just like trying to deal with that was kind of hard. But then after a while, it's been a great experience being in the States and going from there. So the forensics program is actually what got you from Dallas, Texas to Bowling Green? Yeah, so my first day ever in high school, uh, I took this debate class and one of my best mentees ever in my life, uh, Sally Squibb, she looked at me and, and she told me that I was very like, you know, greatly spoken and, and she saw something in me. So she told me not to just take the class, but to be on the debate team. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know how to speak English that well. But ever since then, it's, it's been from there. And she had a couple of students who came to WKU for forensics because we are the top team in the nation. And so she really worked on me for the following three years to pursue a career with forensics. And I came to audition um, my senior year and I got accepted onto the team. So it's just been up ever since. So. How have you been able to juggle forensics, which is such a demanding program and so highly successful, as you said, and the college life and in a different country? Yeah. What's the key? <laughs> well, the key is, I guess, everybody says it, but kind of like organization and realizing that things are more intertwined than you think there is. You know, being a broadcast journalism major and being a forensics team member is crazy hard, you know, and from my freshman and sophomore year, it, it kind of, there was some ups and down times, but I realized that they're more intertwined. I can use my love for speaking and changing the world or speaking on diverse issues and intertwine that into my major as a journalism student. So like certain speeches I would do could cross over to projects I could do in journalism. So just using all your resources and kind of build off of what you have to do, uh, staying organized with time commitment, you know, making sure you have a rigorous schedule to know what you have to do here, what you have to do then to make it all come together. It sounds like you figured it out beautifully. <laughs> <Somehow>. <laughs> Best wishes on a successful future in broadcast journalism and Thank thanks you. for joining us. To learn more about the opportunities here at WKU, please log on to WKU.edu.